So we're going to go ahead and attempt something a little bit different. We're going to take on the brand new Universe Survival Saga Super Battle Road stage with Peppy Gals. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. <laughs> Hit that subscribe if you are new. Uh, I wonder if we're going to get both. <laughs> that happens from time to time. So uh, this is the brand new Into Brienne de Chateau Awakening. So a couple of things are happening that I, I kind of want to spend a little bit of time to explain. So bear with me for a couple of minutes while I do. Uh, again, in Brienne Awakening, we have the friend, we have her. This unit is incredible, actually. Like, Rubrienne is incredibly good. She does things like seal, ally support, powerful start of the turn boosts, also debuffs the enemies. She's she's really good. Um, so the most important units other than the Rubrienne leaders, who is, again, uh, she's transformation boost and Peppy Gals, three key 120, I believe. Uh, three and 120, okay. So the most important units on the team otherwise would be this unit here, who, when versus, I believe, uh, Universe Survival Saga enemies, gets the ability, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up while I talk here, gets the ability to just guarantee dodge. Like, okay, guarantee dodges <laughs> is incredible. Let me go ahead and read you her passive. 60% attack and defense at the start of the turn, chance to evade enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 6% per Universe 6 and Peppy Gals category ally on the team. Also, Evades enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when there is a Universe Survival Saga or Pure Saiyans category enemies. So she gets a, a chance increase versus, pretty much you get it, versus non-USS or Pure Saiyans. But she gets guaranteed versus those. So for this whole event, she's going to get guaranteed dodges. So for one, that's crazy. And for these characters, so for this character, the Kale, and for Kale and Khalifla, they did something different. They said and instead of or when it came to specific requirements. So, for example, this unit gives herself 12% chance to evade attacks. So, yeah, it was 6% whenever there is a Universe 6 and Peppy Gas category on the team. She has both categories. And, yes, I'm not, I'm not mistaken. It's not just 6 like most other units. She gets 12%. That will extend to uh, Kale as well. So, when it comes to Kale... Uh, she's a unit that's a little bit different. So for the record, both of these units do stack attack and defense on super. So this unit here gets 60% attack and defense at the start of the turn, plus an additional 10% attack per pure Saiyans and Peppy Gauss category ally on the team. Yes, she gives herself 20% attack and every other unit that can meet that. Like, I don't know who else. Like, the other, mainly it's just going to be Kale and Khalifa cards. But regardless, though, she gives herself an additional 20% and she's going to get a nice bonus here. Also, launches an additional super attack when there is a pure, Sa uh, pure Saiyans or Universe Survival Saga category enemy on the team. Or the enemy, excuse me, uh, as far as like those two categories. I'm trying to go quick. So they also stack. The additional super stack. Yes, I know it's crazy. The unit is able to launch two additional supers when facing both categories at once. So versus like SSBE Vegeta's event, UI Goku events. She does guaranteed two additional supers, meaning she can get up to four in one turn while stacking attack and defense. So I said all that to say that that's all the same for this unit. So this unit gets a lot of hate, but is an incredible unit. So the passive for this unit, by the way, both supers this unit does raise his defense. 66% at the start of the turn and launches an additional attack. The additional attack is guaranteed to be a normal attack. Key plus one up to six and chance to evade enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 6% up to 66% with each attack performed. Yeah, I know. Key plus one and then chance to evade up. That's nuts, man. Attack plus 10% per universe six. Join forces and pure Saiyans category ally on team. Again, the word and is there. And it, it, it is confirmed that all these units stack. So in the case of this unit, yes, she gets 30% just for herself. A maximum of 210% if every unit on your team has all three categories, resulting in a maximum of 276% courtesy of the Dokkan Wiki. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. Launches an additional super attack when there is a Universe Survival Saga or Pure Saiyans category enemy, which stacks just like the, Kale or the Kale card. So, yeah, this unit can also do two additional super attacks when facing both categories at once, just like the Kale. So, come on, bro. <laughs> So if we're in a position where we have all of those categories met and stuff like that, we'll be able to it, it, we'll be able to do a lot, right? So the fortunate thing as far as like this not being too easy is that when it comes down to it, I'm in a position where I don't have access to like everything all of the time. And what I mean by that is I'm going to put her in the front spot to be honest. I, I'll just go ahead and get the guaranteed dodges. I didn't need the item. I, I should have actually just put her in the front. But, uh, yeah, I'll be able to get a lot of that later on because I'm not versus, like, pure Saiyans right now, but there is pure Saiyan enemies as we proceed. So, again, um, Brienne here is a support, and she also is a debuffer and a sealer. So she's she's doing quite a few things, man. Also, the thing about Kaelin Khalifla, you're going to see her do nothing but dodges here. The thing about Kaelin Khalifla is um, 
You can use all three of their cards. So their LR, their TUR, and their SSR. All on the same team. <laughs> if I was able to do that, I I'm pretty certain this would be a really easy run. But instead, I know there are some, some holes in my team. Like this Kale, she could potentially get annihilated, right? So there's going to be things like that that I have to pay attention to. But for the record, this will be really interesting to run. I didn't know it took me five minutes to explain that, by the way. Forgive me. I didn't, I didn't plan on that. I just looked at how long we've been recording. We're going to try to go as quick as we can from here. So we did seal the other one. At least we have type advantage here. This shouldn't do too much. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so this one's going to go ahead and transform. So they're meant to be, uh, they're meant to be floaters. I don't really have to do much with them. But I will say Kale, uh, the regular Kale card, she is a lot more liable to take damage, as you would imagine. Because she can't she has to she has to rely on supers and stuff to, to stack and go from there. She she can't outright just be an incredible defensive unit. So we're gonna start here. But I mean she's in a good spot regardless though, for the matter. <laughs> uh, and the good news is they're all still debuffed because the Brianne's are really good cards. Um, I'll go ahead and attack here. And for Brianne, we'll let her Go ahead and seal you. Uh, we'll actually seal the STR one. Okay. And again, we do have support, so we're in a good position regardless. And the item is up too, so I guess it wasn't too bad. I should have... Honestly, I, I, I used it early when I didn't need to. Okay. Guaranteed attack. So Kale could get a third attack here if we're lucky. She does not. Okay. So during this portion of it, again, she's not guaranteed to get that third attack because there's no pure sand. But if ever there's a pure sand, <laughs> we will get that. Okay, so 18 is also pretty good for the defensive bonuses. I hope we get an additional. No? Okay. If ever we do get additionals with her, she's going to be really good defensively too. So ultimately, though, I am going to be floating those three supports. The Kale uh, support, I don't really need her. I considered bringing Kefla or um, AGL Khalifla. Those units are solid, but I, I'm starting to feel like those units just need awakenings now at this point. They're just getting old, man. Oh, my gosh. This card here. This card here, bro. This card, this is going to be crazy. So not to mention, she also stacks defense and attack, by the way, with each attack she does. Also, look at Kale and Khalifa at max key here. Okay. Okay, game. I'll go ahead and get some same color orbs just so we can heal. <laughs> I guess. Go back to max HP. All right, cool. This card, man. Hopefully we get an additional. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, man. This has got to be the most busted thing ever. This is the most broken thing ever. This is why Dodge is... It. Okay, so this right here... <laughs> Imagine when those Kale and Khalifa cards awaken. This is why Dodge... If you didn't know... So Dodge gives 1% chance to do it per level. While Crit and Additionals do 2%. So a level 15 Dodge only gives you a level 15% a chance to Dodge. While a level 15 Additional and Crit gives you a 30% chance to do those abilities. That's why, because yeah, it's pretty crazy when you can do the other stuff, but like, oh my gosh, hopefully she doesn't get super, she's gonna take a good bit of damage. But like Dodge, being impervious to damage is incredible. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, Kale, look at you doing your best. Look at you doing your best. <laughs> okay, she didn't get super, so I'm cool. All right, so what are we doing here? I might consider leaving Ribrian on rotation, to be honest, because Ribrian is she's she's better than 18 for this setup. I think I'm gonna consider leaving her. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Ribrian, and I'm gonna use an item here. The only downside is this team doesn't output the damage. I think I need them to to make this a pretty easy run for me. They're just not doing the damage. Uh, for 18, we'll attack here. Okay. Yeah, that's the only downside is, again, they're just not doing the output. But the good news is, again, with all the support and all the defense stacking, they should be fine. But I'm going to leave Rubrian on rotation. Hopefully we get a third attack here, because I think that'll be enough. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Good job, Kale. Good job. Can't wait till we can get a potential fourth attack. That'd be crazy. Okay, so this is going to go ahead and seal the next enemy. Uh, crit. Ooh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. All right, so with Ribrian on rotation, um, this should be a little bit easier, I think. Again, I think I think Int Kale and uh, 18 are the two liabilities on this team because everyone else I, I don't have to really worry about. So I'm not going to leave two on rotation, of course, just one. Although I'm incredibly tempted to do that for those attacks. But I, don't, I shouldn't need to do that, so I'm not going to. I'm incredibly tempted, though, for the record. 
And here we go. So 18, I believe, changes physical orbs. I need to I need to kind of leverage that. For her, whenever she's going to show up, I think I'm going to try to set up orbs for her. Uh, they they probably beat that one. That's not Lavenda. That's a uh, Is it Lavenda? I don't know. I forget that I forget the third one's name. I know Bergamo, of course, but I forget the last one. Uh, uh, did you do it? Please tell me you did it so Ribrian doesn't have to attack there. So, again, that's a 55% Kale and Khalifla. So they'll – oh, Ribrian did. So they will never actually a uh, critical hit in this video, for the record. But if they could, just imagine that. Just imagine. Ribrian should be fine. I don't have to worry about anything. We have double supports here, too. Kale and Ribrian should beat this guy. And he's sealed. He's debuffed. I don't have to worry about anything. So from here, I think things will be lined up pretty well. The power of love! Quick for me! Oh, thank you. Okay, so that should do it. Oh, the additional normal just to help. So I did take a three dupe friend. I was looking for a rainbow friend, but I mean, the difference between three and four dupes, 90%, 100%, it's, it's, not, it's not a big deal, so. All right. Oh, there's a pure say. Oh, oh, there's pure saves for the last two fights. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, we're versus a whole Universe 6 team. That's cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Wow, look at all the attacks in the last spot. Look at all of those attacks in the last spot. Nope, 18 is not going to take those hits. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. She's not taking those hits. I'm not letting her take those hits. So we're just going to try to go AGL hit. That's different. We're going to go type advantage. Again, this is a brand new stage. I've never played it, so. 18. Um, we're going to go back to the AGL hit again. <laughs> That's really funny considering, what is it, the super class stage that has the Universe 6 set up. But now, obviously, there's new cards and stuff, so they have them here. I'm actually pretty surprised they didn't use the tech hit boss. I wonder if he's going to be in the third round. He could be in the third round. But I, th I feel like that's probably just all Universe 7. If this is Universe 6, then this one's probably all just Universe 7, to be honest. I wish I could get crits with this unit. If I could get crits, bro. This unit's going to get a lot of attacks here. We still are guaranteed one more super. And we could potentially get an additional from the potential system now. Because reverse is pure Saiyan. <laughs> We're going to do a lot of attacks. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used Kaelin Khalifa. I remember now why people don't like this card. Okay, people don't like this card because they don't want it to be the quote-unquote best card in the game. Whether you agree with that is, is not relevant for my, my topic here. But um, also because that card... In the right scenario like this, they just take over. It's it's. Oh, I'm gonna have double Ribrian here. I think it's it's just absurd, man. They just go crazy. It doesn't even make any sense. So like seeing them super repeatedly, especially if you if you go with double lead, is crazy, man. It's crazy. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we have um, double Ribrian, double support. Kale will launch another super. We have debuffing. We have sealing. I feel like I shouldn't need an item here. I feel like I really should not need an item here. Okay, so the difference between the rainbow and not rainbow is like less than 10k defense and like 4k attack. It's like, again, it's not a big deal. Not at that point. Um, so we could, we're going to seal hit. Yeah, we'll seal hit. We're going to try to eliminate Khalifla here. We're actually really close to a Dokkan attack. I obviously don't want to give it to this round. But well, we're really close. Actually, Ribrian wouldn't have been a bad candidate for the record. And I'm going to let Ribrian super here. That should do it. I just I need to get lucky, maybe, with some super attacks. Okay, yeah, the debuffing from Ribrian's passive. The debuffing from Ribrian's passive is nuts, man. Like, this card, they did such an... I remember when this card like came out like a month ago or whatever, and I was reading her, her preview, and I was like, Goresh is trans. I was like, what is this? What is this, man? It doesn't it doesn't even make any sense what they did for that card. They made her crazy good. All right, Kale. And by the way, my Kale has one dupe. My Khalifa has two dupes. So I hope to pull more, of course. That's it for Khalifa. I kind of need to be... I kind of need to chill, actually. I shouldn't have taken out both. I don't... I think that we still have a pure Saiyan enemy, right? Kale's still there? Please don't tell me they're both gone. That'd be really bad. Okay. Oh, Kaba. I forgot all about Kaba. I literally forgot Kaba existed. So there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait, I need to chill. I don't need to eliminate all my pure Saiyan enemies. I can't believe Magetta did no damage to Ribrian. 
That's crazy, man. Bagetta did literally nothing. Aw, I gotta put Kale and Khalifa in the front, pretty much. Otherwise, I risk giving the Dokkan attack to a subpar unit. Okay, two units are sealed, because double Rebrianne on a rotation is crazy. Magetta's sealed. Kaba could potentially super me, though, and he'd be the worst one to super me. He would literally be the worst one. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm going to give the attack here. And the reason why is because as I look at the end of this, I need to make sure that Kale in the last spot is in a, in a fine situation. I can't, I can't take too much damage because I'll mess around and lose, literally. So, yeah, we'll go here. It's very, it's very, very suboptimal, but I'm trying to make a big brain play here and hopefully it pays off because I don't want to have to use an item right now, especially because we're going to heal. Like, and also, like, the items I would use, I don't think it would make a huge difference anyway. All right, let's go. Okay, guaranteed dodges. Please, super. Ah, Kaba did not super. Okay. Took the gamble. I could have put Kaelin Khalifa on the front, which is what I was going to do. So hopefully this pays off then. If we got a crit there, actually, I'm not too upset if we get a crit, to be honest. If we get a crit, I'm actually not too upset. It's not great still, but I'm not upset. Okay, cool. I'm not I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that crit. Okay, I'll take it. Almost she did pretty much a million damage to the Kaba there. I'll take it. Man, none of them supered? Really? You gonna do me like that game? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. We really could lose this round just because I made one mistake, pretty much. If Kaba supers in the middle, that could be really problematic. It's a good thing we're gonna launch so many attacks to raise our defense so much. <laughs> it's a really good thing we're gonna raise our defense. Because Kaba and Kale are the two that are not sealed. So it really just depends what happens here. Give me a fifth attack. Give me that fifth super. Give me that fifth attack as a super. And also, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm likely to get a fifth attack in most cases. The reason why also Kale and Khalif are so busted is because we found out like a, a few months back that the more attack chances a unit does, the more chances that this should not do enough to KO me. Please, don't tell me. Okay, it got really close though. <laughs> it got a little closer than I thought. We found out though a few months back that um, the more uh, attacks a unit does, the more likely they are to do the additional from the potential because it rolls it over and over again as a chance. So <laughs> that's another reason why they're pretty busted, man. Um, she supered last time, so I don't, I don't imagine she supers again. We're gonna seal hit here because I can't, I can't deal with hit. Yeah, I can't, I can't let hit go crazy here. We're gonna get an attack on hit. We're gonna get a few attacks. Hopefully, we get supers. By the way, that'd be incredibly good for us. Um, power numbers looking. Over 100,000 in all these units. They all stack defense except for... They're all debuffed too. Like, I I, I should be fine. Honestly, I'm, I should be fine. Good number of orbs there for 18. Yeah, this rotation should be fine. Kaba still didn't super, by the way. So that's really interesting. Because that was his opportunity. Maybe he was sealed last turn and I missed it. But I'm pretty sure he wasn't. Goodbye, Hit. Thank you. Thank you for, thank you for your service, man. All right. So let's see if we can eliminate Kale here. No, we're not going to do it. That should have actually been... I, I had it targeted, I think, on hit. It should have been on Kaba, but that's fine. Third attack. Give me that fourth. Give me that fourth. Fourth? Hey, yeah, that's why I said... Also, the same thing applies to this unit and, and other units that are like that, too. Like Vegito Blue. The more attacks they do, the better, man. The more, the merrier, literally. So, okay. 18 is coming through. Things are looking incredibly good. <laughs> these cards, these Kaelin Khalifa cards are nasty, bro. I don't know what they did. And then to top it off, Rubrian is crazy good. <laughs> Front spot, guaranteed dodge, huh? Just, just going to guarantee it. Literally just going to guarantee it. I'll attack here. So that way, uh, these attacks are going to be enough to finish off Kaba. It will auto-target actually afterwards to Kale, and that'll finish it off for Kale. And Rubrian should auto-target to, to Magetta and seal Magetta so she won't have to take a super... If not, I still retargeted there just in case. But whatever, we're good. We're in a great position, like incredible position. Also, for the record, like the the, the female warrior type, <laughs> Dragon Ball Legends term, the Peppy Gals type of characters, they have a lot of key links. So it doesn't really matter if I have like the individual Kale and, and Khalifa SSR cards linked up. Like they didn't give them. Okay, so they did give them Saiyan Warrior Race. I'm looking at it now. 
Actually, rival duo, is that a thing? Should I have... If Okay, if she has... Khalifla does not have rival duo. I was going to say, if Khalifla actually has rival duo, then there's no reason not to. Okay, same warrior race I don't care about, which I feel like she has. Let's double. Let's just double check. I figured these guys would pretty much finish this. Uh, so, same lineage, same warrior race, Battlefield Diva, Prodigies is what Khalifla has. Okay. In which case, that's not really procable. So, Prodigies and Rival Duo are their individual attack links. So, really, they're only going to get same warrior race, which is a 700 attack link I don't care about. So, okay. We're fine. I like how my things are set up anyway. Which is what I was going to say in the first place. They're set up to a point where I shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, final round. <laughs> I guess the girls really can't do this, man. Okay, auto transformation. It looks like the girls really can do this because they're all so good. <laughs> and imagine how easy the regular uh, Peppy Cow stage is now because of this, too. Like, this is where things get really crazy. Uh, also, there's four of them here. Okay. Um, we're going to seal 17 because I don't want him to super Kale in the last spot. I do have to be aware of Kale. Do I have Whis? I do. Okay. So I'm going to use it here. Even though we have the debuff, I need to protect that Kale, that Super Saiyan Kale. Uh, we'll let this Kale actually attack there, too. She's going to do a lot of attacks to 17, so we might as well just eliminate 17. He's the most problematic, I think, because we have a lot of int units. Yeah, and I don't have to worry too much about the rest of my, my squad, to be honest. We'll let you attack the Tech Frieza. Wow, that really caught me off guard, considering Goku and Vegeta are the right types. And, and 17. Frieza's just Tech. <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. The thing about Frieza being tech is I have a lot of it units, like I just said, so it's not a, it's not a bad thing. It's actually pretty good if I can if I can leverage that. Are they gonna super? This would be the ideal turn for them to super. Okay, thank you. The debuffs, uh, the support, like this this would be the ideal turn. Okay, 35, whatever. Good get, get it out your system, man. So hopefully we get some crits in that fourth super. Uh two. <laughs> they just attack over and over. I don't get why they made these units like this. This is so stupid. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Perfect. I'll take it. Go for it. Go for it. And I'll just heal up at the end of this. So two attacks is not going to be enough. Especially because we sealed 17. UI Goku might super, but the normal from uh, the 17 and a potential Goku super wouldn't be enough. Oh, and we dodged an attack? All right. Cool. Awesome. I do have to protect 18, though. So I'll be aware of that. Okay, so he's sealed. Uh, we'll attack here. We'll attack here. I'm going to use an item. I'll go for the defense stack. And then for 18, I'll let her attack 17, which is, that's so, that's so bad. It feels so bad. We have the Wii sub too, by the way, so I don't have to worry too much about stuff. But again, better safe than sorry. Yeah, you, UI Goku really thought his attack was about to go through. How does it feel, former Dodge Master Goku, to meet the new Dodge Master? <laughs> she has not been hit the whole video. Again, that's ridiculous. That That is literally ridiculous. That does not make sense. These attacks should be enough. These supers should be enough. If this unit stacked attack like the individual cards do, oh my gosh. Like from the super attack, that would have been crazy. But fortunately they don't, because this is this is this is too much. This is too much. Ah, no final attack. Okay, okay. The defense is still sky high though, so whatever. 18, please finish off your brother. Wow, look at 17 attacking the 17. <laughs> Crit? Oh, 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 come on. Oh, okay. I, I was about to say. Come on, bro. I thought he survived. I didn't even notice this one didn't transform yet. We're going to have double rubber ants here, and we have the defensive support up. The Whis is gone. Double debuffs. I don't have to use any item here. <laughs> I don't have to use an item. Although Vegeta could be kind of problematic, so I'm going to seal him. We're not going to deal with that. Sorry, Vegeta. This unit's ceiling, too, is just... That's overkill. A Ribrian ceiling is overkill. Oh, who do I want to attack? Ah, uh, well, we'll start... We'll start damaging Goku, I think. Yeah, we'll damage Goku here, and then we'll switch back to Frieza. No, no, no. I'll let you super... Here. We'll seal Goku. 
I imagine he might super in the front, to be honest, if he is going to. Because that's the only attack he gets, by the way. Even though he supered last turn, I don't know. Sometimes these guys super twice, back to back, like on Super Battle Road, but you really never know. Okay, seal. <laughs> We're gonna get a slew of attacks. Gotta make sure I don't finish Goku and Vegeta first, though. I at least I gotta make sure that I have at least a pure Saiyan as my final enemy, whoever it is. <laughs> this is why I said that, like, Kefla, AGL Khalifla, also Physical Kale, they just need rebirths now. They're not good enough anymore. They're good. They're just not good enough anymore. These Peppy Gal cards are off the chain, bro. Oh, you're going to super me. Type advantage. That's not going to do anything. It's really going to do nothing. <laughs> good job, Frieza. You, you really contributed something. Great job. There's three attacks in last spot. I really don't want to put her in that position. Again, she's always the one that's that that's kind of like that wild card. So I'm just gonna take this current. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna deal with putting her in that position. I just don't want to do it. Um. So we're gonna just go for some attacks here. Even though I spent the time sealing them, which I again I didn't have to use an item here, but I just don't want to deal with it. I'm not even gonna lie. I just don't want to deal with it. We're not going to get another Dokkan attack, presumably, in this. So we'll just kind of leverage what we have. Additional? Additional? Aw, oh, man. Well, we're going to see 5 million additional attacks here. Imagine if this card could crit again. If I had a dupe, one dupe, all I need, one dupe. When they get added to the shop, which they might actually be next in the shop, to be honest. Next time there's an LR banner, they, which could be in part two, they could be in the shop. On JP, anyway, of course. I might, I might buy one, to be honest. I'll do my pulls, of course, but and if I get one, I get one. But I might buy one because I have just enough, I think. Because I haven't needed any LR. No, 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 no. Last time I actually bought LR Baby. I don't know how many coins I have. E either way, I'll do my pulls. So I'll get back to that point probably. Probably. Maybe. Okay, UI is pretty close now. I'm really conflicted because I would really like to give those to 18. I'm not going to lie. We're going to seal Goku. We're going to attack Vegeta. We should be fine without an item here. Even before I lose at the very end because I didn't use an item this turn. That would be so bad. But yeah, since he didn't super in the front, I think we're pretty much good. He could potentially super Kale. But I don't think that would matter. Okay, Goku's just about gone now. Kel's going to do her regular 5 million attacks. Hopefully we get a crit. Okay. <laughs> I got to start checking their stats, man, because Kale is off, off the charts right now. She's the, Each of these is stacking her attack and defense. Can we get a crit? We can't get a crit to save our lives, huh? At least Goku sealed, so there's that. I think I might try to let Tech Khalifa. Nah, I'll just let AGL. Um, AGL. Uh, what's it called? K LR Kale and Khalifa just do it. I will put Tech in the front spot though, because she's guaranteed to not take any damage. Which is again, I, I keep saying it, but like I can't, I can't say it enough. It's crazy. It really doesn't make any sense. They're also debuffed here, and we have support, so. Yeah, I'm going to attack here. I think it's time to finish off these Saiyans. Those filthy Saiyans! We're going to leave Frieza for last. Nice try, Vegeta. I almost got scared for a split second, but then remembered who he was attacking. <laughs> oh, my God. This card is, like, it's infinitely stupid. It doesn't make any sense, man. Just dodging every single attack. I would understand if it was, like, UI. Like a 75% chance, but no, it's everything. 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 The only downside is that um, it's only versus specific categories, right? Like, or two categories. But, like, even then, if she's on, like, a pure, uh, on a Peppy Gal team, 
she still is going to have a really good dodge chance regardless because of the other part of her passive. Universe 6 or Peppy Gal. So she gets 12% for herself dodge chance. Any other, like, Kale and Khalifa cards that trigger both of those give her 12% up to a maximum of... There is no maximum. It's just 12% per. What the heck? <laughs> she can still dodge like a god even on, like, different teams. Okay. So goodbye, Vegeta. Probably. This is going to do nothing. Oh, 53k. That's the most damage I think I've taken in a long, long time. Okay, so we're going to, again, we're at a point now where we can just pretty much wind this up. Because now that those guys are gone, we don't have to worry about much of anything. Forgot to check uh, Kale's stats again. Forgive me. She had double support here. Whatever. That's fine. It's okay. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Can we get a crit? Oh, we do. Good job. Good job. Oh, double? Oh, man. I didn't expect to get a double. The double super and the double crit. Okay. So if we get crits here, we, we presumably can win here if we get a crit. So she's not going to do that third guaranteed attack, which is why I was saying earlier I should have saved the Saiyan for, for last. But again, at this point, it just doesn't matter. We just, we, we're guaranteed to win now. Even before it loses somehow. All right. 18. Um, do I have an item? I'll give it to you, 18. I'm even going to use an item so you don't lose. Just so you don't lose. You never, you never know. And that this should do it this turn, to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, end the video here. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you are new for more content. And, uh, yeah, we pulled this off with uh, Peppy Gals, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, everyone. Take it easy.